Alright, your farm is all about God. It's, uh, what is it, Saturday today, I think? And uh, we don't have a whole lot going on today. Just doing some, some cleaning around. We got TMJ back here mowing some of this grass that y'all have told me to mow around the uh, campsite. Because, uh, you know, sometimes the property gets so big that little small nooks and crannies, you know, uh, get forsaken. And uh, But we need to get all this grass mowed down here so that we don't have snakes, <laughs> you know, coming around our, our living space. So I'm teaching Tim Jr. how to use the push mower. I was going to let him use the riding lawn mower, but he's not quite tall enough to reach the clutch. But uh, hopefully he'll be there in a few years. But he's working pretty good with that, that push mower back there. And uh, we're going to get farm chores done. We're going to make some uh, Megan is in there making some breakfast. She's making some uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. And uh, pretty much today, I'm, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to work on just a little bit of fencing today. Not too, too much because I'm kind of exhausted and tired. <laughs> some of you all were saying that I need to hire a crew. I got to keep my eyes on Tim Jr. back there because like, he's still in training. And some of you all were saying I need to hire a crew <laughs> to help me out. But uh, that's, 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 you know, that's just not my, my mental state right now. You know, my mental state is not... Uh, Hey, I need to find some folks to help me do this stuff. It's like, no. Like, how can I use the people and the resources that the Lord has already given me? And if he gives me more resources, I'll use those as well. And if I'm the only last man standing, <laughs> you know, I'm willing to do it by myself if I have to. Because I know that, you know, the Lord will give me the strength of Samson if I need it. So uh, I'm not afraid of a little bit of hard work. You know, I know y'all saw me rolling that uh, roller fence up that hill. But uh, that's really fun to me, you know. It's like that's the type of stuff that men are made out of. You know, you're supposed to be built tough like that to be able to do those things. And so I'm trying to train my boys up, you know, in the same way to not look for, you know, handouts or to not look for somebody to come help them, but to, to do what they need to do. And then if somebody comes help, come, come and helps, that's fine. But if not, you know, we still gonna get it done. Still gonna get it done. <laughs> yeah, but Tim's doing a good job back there. I'm gonna get back back there and supervise him. And also Megan, after she gets done cooking breakfast, it's gonna get inside of Emma. Uh, Y'all saw that we did uh, the IAG pest service, and uh, we did like the full service. And uh, Megan is gonna get in there and kind of clean everything up, clean up all that Delta dust, that's all the residue that's left, and just clean up all the mud from all of the you know uh, mud tracks that we've had because the property has been so so muddy because we've been doing a lot of dirt work. So she's gonna get in there and clean it up real good because uh, we're so, as soon as we get done with this fencing, uh, we're gonna be starting on Emma. I might do the other side of the roof on the barn back there. Uh, but but after that, it's gonna be full force on Emma. So that's what we got going today, y'all. Just wanted to pick the camera up and kind of you know uh, give y'all the script <laughs> for what today's video is gonna be about. But uh, yeah, we we we're just gonna be ripping and rolling, just doing a couple maintenance type things, and uh, we just see what this day brings. It's IG Farms. It's all about God, y'all. Join us for this journey. Alright y'all, we're over here doing lawnmower lessons. Boy, y'all get back. And we got a cow over here <laughs> trying to get that grass. Gimma, 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 gimma. Alright, get in. Ease up. Get in. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, get in. <laughs> get in, got him back over there. Yep, look at him. <laughs> He's going back under. He said, I don't want them problems. Get in. Good boy, get in. Good boy, good boy. Your prayers were answered. <laughs> Alright, ease up. No, no. Get in. No. Don't do that unless I tell you to. No. Good boy. Alright, Tim. Back to our lawn more lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we lift up a cow out trying to eat our grass. That's right. It was a little baby cow. Grass. It was a little baby cow. I don't know no better.
at y'all. Tim Jr. did a good job on this grass here. I know he should be able to take pride in it. The good type of pride. <laughs> and doing something like this. I know that'll be, this'll be a little spot that I can let him cut. And he'll be able to see how this grass develops over time. I took the lawnmower and kind of hit up some of these sections around here. Around back. That were kind of growed up. Just kind of keep the snakes down. Garden is looking alright back there. We had to, uh, uh, we're gonna have to replant in this whole section out here. These things out here really didn't do too well. But our corn is doing all right. Let's walk over here and look at it. Our corn is doing pretty good. It's looking good. I think what we're gonna do is, uh, the tomatoes are looking good over there too. Not tomato, uh, potatoes are doing good. Got a nice potato patch here. And uh, they're actually starting to bloom. So, uh, <clears throat> I think, yeah, I had to tell me in the comments down low, uh, how do you know when the potatoes are ready? Because I, they're blooming. Uh, so do I wait for those blooms to die off? Or do I just like kind of wait for the greenery to start dying off? But uh, yeah, I, I, I would figure I'd better let them go for a nice little while longer. But yeah, we're going to replant this whole section here. I'm going to get it weeded good because <clears throat> none of these things are, are viable. Uh, the weeds are kind of taking over. So I'm going to get it weeded. And then we'll probably replant this whole section in corn. And so we'll just have a whole lot of corn out here. Have this corn over here to be ready to harvest before this one. And then we have corn out here ready to be harvested. And then we have our potatoes. And uh, we might plant some like uh, tomatoes and things like that <clears throat> in, uh, you know, in containers or something like that. But yeah, it's looking good out here. Uh, like I said, Tim Jane got the grass mowed. And uh, we're kind of getting it cleaned up around here a little bit. Starting to get a little bit more organized. Eventually, all this stuff here is gonna go inside of the barn here. But right now, we're keeping space in the barn because we're kind of using it as like a porch homeschool area. So uh, some of this stuff that y'all see laying around is laying out there because we don't have anywhere to put it. We have a greenhouse for a video coming soon. We're gonna be putting together that greenhouse that a subscriber sent us. And uh, yeah, so, and then we had that toolbox with tools and stuff in there. But we're gonna try to start getting some of this stuff put up and stored slowly in the barn. But uh, once we move in Emma, you know, we'll be able to store all this stuff in the barn. And uh, we're going to build some more outbuildings as well. But yeah, Tim Jr. did a good job on that. And uh, we're just sitting there eating breakfast now. And uh, we'll just pick y'all up when Megan gets started cleaning inside of Emma. So we'll see y'all in a minute. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm going to get started doing farm chores. I'm going to head out and feed the pigs that are on pasture. And we have some pigs in training to be on pasture. So I'll feed them as well. They're kind of near um the other pigs then i gotta go down and handle the sheep so follow along with me let's see what we can do today He says he's mowing his lawn by faith. It's really running up now just because uh, we've had a lot of great work being done with the pipeline. So it's a bit muddy. <laughs> but hey, we still got some grass. <laughs> I'm going to grab this bucket. I'm going to head down and feed the pigs that are kind of on our pseudo pasture. They're in training. So pigs in pasture training. Let's go take care of them.
All right, y'all, just got done with farm choice. <laughs> so everybody's good, the sheep are good. Get, these. get the door, get these buckets up. Come on, Solomon. All right. Okay, so I just got done with farm chores. Everybody's good, sheep are good. Pigs are good, pigs on pasture are good. Pigs in training to be on pasture are good. So, yeah, everybody's doing good. It's been wet this past week, so pig pen is pretty sloppy, but we're working really, really hard. Tim is doing an amazing job on the fencing and working very hard in order to get all our animals on pasture. So, we're just going to stay focused, stay on that goal, and pretty soon, all our animals will be on pasture. Uh -huh. no! That's right, yay! So, no, I'm gonna take a quick... What's that, buddy? Feed the dados. Yes, we fed all the farm animals and I did the farm chores. That's right. And so, do bananas? No, we're not getting bananas right, right now. But we are gonna go take a break and maybe we, we will have a piece of fruit. But we'll take a break and then we'll go ahead and start cleaning the Emma. All right. All right, y'all, just hopped off the mower. Been mowing probably about four well, hours and 30 minutes, something like that. I mowed all the way at the top of the property and I mowed this little uh, front yard section and the boys play area down there where they had the basketball goal set up where we're gonna set the pool up at. I might get a chance to get that pool uh, put, to, put together tomorrow. But uh, I just got done mowing. I'm gonna go ahead and check on Megan. <clears throat> She's in here. She just started cleaning inside of Emma. And I'm gonna walk y'all around and kind of do a before and after. Uh, today, the goal is mainly just to clean up She's on most of the sweep she's sweeping right now. And uh, the, the goal is to clean up all this uh, Delta dust, the excess. And uh, just get everything clean. You know, we, uh, we actually have an uh, insurance adjuster coming tomorrow. And uh, we're finna get, you know, Emma insured, get, get homeowner's insurance owner and everything. So we want to be looking nice when they come through. And uh, mainly getting everything cleaned up because this is about time to start working in here. Let me just walk y'all around and show y'all what it looks like before and then I'll walk y'all around as she get done, gets done cleaning up and show y'all after. Alright, so she's mostly swept this room already. But uh, as you can see, we have that, uh, that Delta dust that we put down. You can see it a bit of right there. You can kind of see it all along the baseboard there. All the excess powdery substance. Uh, we got a, got a bunch of it we put down there and just on all the cracks. And uh, that was just the last part of the last treatment that we did. We're gonna get all that cleaned up and uh, get all these floors swept. Get the laundry room cleaned out. We had a little bit of electrical work done in there so we got some wires that have been stripped off and stuff laying on the ground. Get all this mud cleaned up. Put a bunch of Delta dust here in this spot because uh, every time we spray we would see a lot of dead bugs over in this section. You can see there's still some dead ones on the floor there. Just big outside bugs. I think they were hanging out up under the bottom and coming in through this crack here in the wall. So I think we might have eradicated their, their entry point. <laughs> and we're going to go through and caulk everywhere that has cracks. But yeah, just, just the same way around the whole, you know, uh, home. Like I say, just uh, Delta dust excess and then just mud and stuff from us coming in and out. 
we come in every day and uh, open up all the windows, let everything air out properly. Once we get a uh, uh, power here, we'll set up some dehumidifiers. And uh, we had dehumidifiers running in here 24 hours, seven days a week. So you can see we have on all those cracks there. We dusted, dusted those cracks around all the window sills. And she's just gonna work on getting all that up, getting all this mud up. And uh, we might today, I wanna get all this stuff thrown away and get this old uh, Chester thrown away as well. And just all these boards and all this just ex excess stuff that's laying around. We want it to be a clean slate. So when we get in here, because the, the, the first thing that we're gonna do is get in here and scrape, scrape out these popcorn ceilings. And so we just want everything to be clean so we can dirty it up again. <laughs> yeah, so I'll pick y'all up in a minute when Meg and I gets done and we'll do it after. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Huh. I've been wrong. Alright, Megan, it's still in there cleaning up, sweeping, and as she get done sweeping, she'll get like a wet rag and wipe up all the excess Delta dust. But I wanted to show y'all something, because I don't know if y'all remember when we first purchased the mobile home, purchased them, she had a bunch of dents inside of her, and I don't know if you can see now, but all those dents are gone. But let me turn you around and show you uh, what the Lord showed us. So yeah, when we first purchased Emma, there were a whole lot of dents in the siding here, and uh, now you can only see like a few here and there. But I'm gonna show you what happened, because uh, there were a whole lot of dents and one day I was just walking down, you know, I felt led just to kind of like rub, you know, on these, on those dents. And as I was rubbing them, they were popping out. And I'm going to show you. Let's see. So, I guess from, there you go. There's one. Can you see that one? So, I guess from moving it, because they had to move it twice, because uh, it, it was actually being lived in. And the guy traded her in uh, for a double wide. And uh, so he traded in, got a price, got some price off of his double wide, I guess. But uh, from from the, from the move, moving it twice, you know, in a short span of time, I guess he created all these little divots right here like this. And so I just started rubbing <laughs> like this. Let's see if I can show you. You see how it popped out? And I just started rubbing it like that. And I went down the whole side of it and popped all those dents out. <laughs> you know, because we were thinking that the siding, you know, was bad and needed to be replaced. But all it was is that it was being moved and dents like that developed. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera or not. But like I said, I just felt led one day just to come and rub it like this. And as, as you rub it, sometimes you have to do it a couple times, but the dent just pops right out. I'm gonna do it one more time and show y'all. So let's see if I can get, find one, there we go. So you got a dent and then I just come and rub it and it pops right out. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's some. Um, what you think, Noah? No. You like it? I like my dog too. Yep. You got a smiley face. You mm -hmm. must did good in homeschool. Yep. Good. Right, I got one more thing I want to show y'all, cause I just want to show y'all how solid this uh this home, this mobile home is. Let's see if I can walk around here and find a spot where we can look up under there and look into the the, the sub floor and the uh, the floor framing. Let's see, I think there's a spot somewhere around here. Let's see if I can find a spot. Okay, let's look in right here. Here's a spot. I just want to stick y'all in here and just show y'all. Let's see, let me zone you back out. 
Let's see here. Okay. But I just want to stick you in there just a little bit and show you the sub floor and then the boards on the floor. It looks like that all throughout. I don't know if you can see. See off in there. Yeah, I just want to show you all those few things. We'll pick y'all up once Megan gets done on the inside and then we'll kind of walk around and kind of talk a little bit and then we'll end today's video. It's looking good and looking good. I don't see Delta dust anywhere. Smells good in here. Let's go see if we can find mama. There she goes. How's it going? Like you about done in here. I get, get the floors, you know. I, I just been doing the baseboards and the window sills and everywhere else that was dealt with this. But I mock the floors and then that'll be my last thing. So you got all the dust of dust up mostly? Yeah. Now see how it just sticks in the cracks? Oh, that's good. Really get it out of those cracks, but. Yeah, you know. might have to spray bottle it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's what, that, that's what it's for. That's what it's made to do, go in cracks. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let me just walk y'all around and show y'all what it's looking like. So you got all the window seals? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. It's looking good, it's looking good. Getting kind of dim outside, so the lighting is bad in here. We don't have power yet. We should have electricity, you know, soon. We should be able to pass our final inspection. I think we can call for it now. We have everything. But it's looking good. Like I said, we hadn't did anything major in here. But uh, right now, we're just, we, we, we've gotten to that point where we've gotten rid of all the bugs that were in here. And uh, we didn't see a whole lot of active bugs, but we just treated it, you know, <laughs> like it was infested. So it's looking good, looking good. Got all the dust, dust up, homeschool room, boys bathroom. Looking forward to getting in there. The boys bedroom. Yep, it's looking good, looking good. What y'all think, boys? Looking good? Yeah, what you think, no? A closet. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, y'all got y'all's own closet. All right, yeah, so it's looking good, y'all. We're gonna go in here where Megan is at. We're gonna hit again today's video, and uh, we'll just see y'all on the next one. <clears throat> All right, family, it's gonna be it for today. Final remarks. I'm just glad to be in here and uh, going to that next step because you know that means that we're progressing forward, and you know, we'll be at Emma soon, so that's right. I'm excited for every single step. That's right. All right, y'all. We're tired. It's Saturday, so we're going to knock off just a little bit early today. But it's IG Farms. Stop! Let's see y'all on the next one.